Hey again, uh, still working on um, capacity. This time we're really focusing on converting measurement, conver converting the capacity. Um, we'll be working with both customary units and metric units. Okay, so once again, if you look at the top portion over here, where it says rules for converting measurement. You'll see this is a larger unit to a smaller unit. You're going to multiply. You want to make this the one that you'd rather do. So you'd rather put the larger unit on the left and the smaller unit on the right and use it to multiply. All right, so Carmen had a picture, a pitcher with a capacity of eight cups. What is the capacity of the pitcher in pints? So what we're looking for here is it had the capacity of eight cups. What is the capacity of the picture in pints? Okay, so I'm going to go to my chart or my uh, either my reference chart or my um, anchor chart, and I'm going to use that to help me um, make the conversion. So. What do we know about pints and cups? Let's see. We know that one pint is equal to two cups. Okay, now how many cups are we looking for? We're looking for eight. So let's go down, see what two pints are. So two pints are equal to four cups. How do we know that? Because we are multiplying, because we're going big to small. So here we multiplied one pint times two cups and a pint equals two cups. Here it's two pints times two cups and a pint and that equals two four cups. Keep going down on our chart. Remember I said if you put it into this input out table it's the easiest way. Three pints would be three times two equals to six. Four pints would be four times two equals to eight. Now, what are we looking for here? We're looking for eight cups. So eight cups, and here we have our cups. There's eight cups. We, we did that with our, our chart. So we want to know how many pints that would be. So we're just going to look over here and we see our pints on the left. Look at the eight cups and right beside it is four. So um, eight cups is equal to four pints. Our numerical expression was the pints, so I'm just going to put a P for pints, times two. Okay, so however many pints you have times two will equal um, the number of pints, uh, the number of, but well, equals the number of cups, okay? So this time we knew the cups, but we were um, uh, trying to get the pints. See how we worked it? We traded that out and worked it from the big to the small so we could do the multiplication. Makes it a lot easier. All right. I've already told you the story of the Land of Gallons, so we will move on from there. All right, so here's just some practice. Um, Devin bought eight gallons of punch to serve at her party. How many quarts of punch did Devin buy for her party? If I remember correctly, I'm not going to do all of this. Okay, so eight gallons equals how many quarts? One gallon equals how many quarts? Okay, let's say, okay, so um, looking at your chart, your uh, reference chart or your anchor chart, what do you know about gallons and quarts? We know that one gallon is equal to four quarts, okay? So how many gallons is going, or how many quarts will be in eight gallons, okay? So I'm gonna make my chart I'm just going to make it a two chart. So I'm going to put my gallons here. I'm just going to put a G and I'll put my quarts here, Q, U. And I know that one gallon equals to four quarts because I know that I'm multiplying and one times four equals four, right? And I know that 
2 gallons equals to 2 times 4, and that would give me 8 quarts. 3 gallons would be 3 times 4 equals to 12 quarts. Okay, so I have my, my uh, numeric expression is going to be the number of gallons times 4 quarts in a gallon. And that will tell me how many um, how, how many quarts there would be um, in in the in however many gallons. We're looking for eight gallons, okay? Eight gallons. So if we take that um, equation and we put eight gallons as if it were down here, eight gallons, and we use our numeric expression of the number of gallons, which would be eight gallons times four. And eight times four is equal to 32. So eight gallons is equal to 32 quarts. All right. All right. Now here's some questions about um, milliliters and uh, milliliters and just milliliters. Okay, about how many milliliters would, okay, we're, we're not going to do this one because we're not, working on that type of thing. Um, it was this one here. Jessica's making 48 cups of lemonade. How many quarts of lemonade will Jessica make? Okay, so she's making cups. We've got cups of lemonade. How many, we wanna know how many quarts that's going to be. So we wanna go from the big to the small, even though it's not listed that way, okay? So you do it this way. I'm still going to put my quarts over here, big, small cups over here. So how many quarts are there in a cup? If I looked at my land of gallon, I know that there are, that one quart has, do you remember, eight cups, right? Okay, there are, um, sorry, I miscounted. There are four cups in a quart. See, anybody can make mistakes. That's why you wanna, you, you wanna have your stuff right in front of you, um, even though you think you know what it is. So one quart has four cups. So we're looking for 48 cups. How many quarts is gonna be in 48 cups, right? So two quarts will be, what is this, one times four? So two times four is gonna be eight. Three times four will be 12. So how am I gonna get, excuse me, how am I going to get to 48? Well, like the other day I showed you, you can use your multiplication chart if you want, or you could just keep on multiplying for um, five, uh, see, sorry, four times four equals 16. Five quarts times uh, five would be 25. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the cups to 48. Okay, so I wanted the cups to equal 48. And if I can think backwards, I mean, because really I can... I can divide it, or I can look on my multiplication chart and I can see, okay, which one equals to, what times four equals 48, okay? So we have five times five is 24, six times four is, just do your multiples, six times four is 24, sorry, wait, because that was wrong. Oh, I make so many mistakes. Five times four is 20, six times four is 24, seven times four is 28, eight times four, is 32, nine times four is 36, 10 times four is 40, 11 times four is 44, and 12 times four is equal to 48. So she is going to be making 12 quarts of lemonade. 48 cups of lemonade is equal to 12 quarts. Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, 
Uh, remember, I'll have a, um, a workshop for you on Wednesday, and I will put up another video uh, either later this afternoon or tomorrow about weight and mass. Um, it's really pretty easy. Also, we didn't really go over the metric because the metric questions didn't really apply to the conversions, but you are going to have to do between metric and uh, well, between metric units. And that's really easy because um, it's based on tens, tens, hundreds. Um, thousands and so forth. In fact, um, really you only have in the metric, all you're looking at is liters and milliliters for capacity. So one liter equals to 1000 milliliters. Okay. So that's all you're going to be going back and forth between. So you'll, you're going to need to look at that on your um, reference chart. All right. Have a good day. Oops.